Watch this, I'm about to touch a simple video file and my entire MacBook crashes instantly. No warnings, no error messages, just a complete freeze. And then, boom, a full system reboot. But here is the weirdest part. This isn't a random bug, it's something I accidentally discovered while testing an Android media player app. And the more I looked into it, the crazier it got. Could it be used for a denial of service? Or even worse, a zero-click remote code execution? Let me take you back where it all started. The bug that crashed my MacBook. A few months ago, while researching a vulnerability using Genie against an Android media player app from a specific vendor, I stumbled upon something completely unexpected. Genie AI, which we use internally at Mobile Hacking Lab, pointed out an integer overflow that could lead to a buffer overflow, a classical but serious vulnerability. But what happened next was a way more interesting than the original bug itself. Oh, if you don't know about GD yet, don't worry. I'll showcase that in the next video. The unexpected crash. After crafting a sample to test the vulnerability, I generate the video file to trigger the issue. Nothing out of the ordinary until I did something completely unrelated. When I wanted to move the file to the Android device, I simply touched the file with my mouse on my MacBook running a Mac OS. Suddenly, my system slowed down froze and then boom a full system crash followed by an unexpected reboot at first i thought it was just a crash caused by something else but after rebooting i tried again same results at that moment i completely forgot about the original vulnerability my mind was racing it was something else entirely what if it works on an iphone naturally i wanted to see if this strange behavior extended beyond mac os so i sent the video file to my iphone to test it there but nothing i tried different iphones different ios versions but the bug didn't trigger that got me thinking if it can crash a mac os could it be leveraged for a denial of service attack or even worse could it be escalated to a remote code execution by sending it using iMessage? Understanding the root cause. The original vulnerability in the media player app was fascinating. It involved the video height and width and how they were handled in the memory. Specifically, the code had a check. If height times width times 3 is smaller than minus 1. This meant to prevent an integer overflow. But the way it was written allowed us to bypass it under right conditions. Since maxint is somewhere over the 2 million, which you will see on the screen, we could manipulate this calculation. We could craft, for example, a height and width using 25,487 times 28,806 times 3 minus 1, so it would just not overflow yet. That's exactly one step below an overflow, meaning the next operation would overflow. And sure enough, once the program added a plus 1, to the results, it caused the crash, which was exactly the case in this case. Why I didn't go further? After confirming the issue, we later found out that it was patched in a newer Mac OS version. It only worked on Mac OS 13.2.1. Since we were actively researching another vulnerability, I left it where it was and I never revisited it again. The bigger picture, unpublished vulnerabilities. This is just one of the many vulnerabilities I have found that I have never reported or fully explored. In security assessments, there are countless cases like this. Many pen testers and researchers find amazing things, but sometimes they can't publish due to corporate restrictions, or they don't have the time to investigate them further, or sometimes just wait to build an exploit for them, but then the bug just gets burned without a second thought. So I wanted to share this because so many vulnerabilities never reach the public for this reason. But now let's see this in action. All right, guys, now let's have a look at the book itself. As I said, this is a special video file that I generated to test on an Android media player, but by accident while opening it on my MacBook, it caused a crash. This is due to the width and height uh, of the image, which we manipulated in such a way that it caused an integer overflow, but in a specific way. So this file, the crash uh, all.mp4, when I open this on my MacBook, I'll just double click on it. So you'll see, just double click on this and then just play. There's also a specific case where you just click on it, it will crash. But for now, when I press play, you can see right away it crashed the whole uh, system. 
Uh, so sometimes it will take a little bit longer time for it to crash. It will take quite some time. But right now, for example, it crashed very fast. And you will see it's a full system reboot. And I'll show you also how I can do the same thing, but then using a browser, you will see the same crash happening. One second, I'll log in again. After login, we should see a crash report. Let's open the crash report and see what's going on. We can see in the crash report that there was a panic actually that happened. So I'll keep it that there is a panic uh, that happened. I'll keep it actually for what it is right now. We won't go into the details of this. Um, so for now, I'll press don't send. And let's also do something else. I'll open the, also the file. I'll set up, a, you can see the file is also over here. I'll show you something else. I'll open a Python server so that we can run this also in our browser. As you can see, I can open it over here and there's the crash all file. And this didn't work on the Chrome browser, but actually works on Safari. So once I open it, you can see again, my whole mouse doesn't work. Nothing works again. Here, the mouse starts hanging. I cannot move it anymore. And in a couple of seconds, we should observe again a new crash that happens. So let's wait a little bit. As you can see, the crash happened. And it will reboot again. Now let's see the crash report. I'll see if I can adjust the screen. So let's see the report. Again, we can see over here we had a panic, which is pretty cool. And this is both triggerable through, uh, through the browser and also directly. So in several cases, when I just received the file on my system, I clicked on it. It will actually also, I think it has to do due to the uh, preview mode of it. I'll upload this file to GitHub so you guys can download it and actually play around yourself. Obviously, my system has been updated. This is just some other system that I use, another laptop. So thank you very much and watch the video further. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more crazy security discoveries like this, hit the like button. It really helps us to create more content. And if you're into offensive security or offensive mobile security, subscribe to the channel because I have some amazing videos coming in the next weeks. We also have free courses on our YouTube channel and mobile hacking lab platform where you can learn offensive mobile security for free. Check them out in the link's description. Oh, by the way, Genie AI now supports Android, Linux and Windows binaries and it's free. Go check it out. The link is in the description below. So thanks for watching and see you in the next video where I will be demonstrating how I discovered the bug in the first place using Genie.